work I want to bring in right now as we, we look at all these states calculating their votes. There's narrow paths to victory. Uh, let's stay with the Biden camp, because Joe Biden has just come out and said he thinks he's got a path to victory. The uh, former U.S. ambassador to Canada, Bruce Heyman, who's always been good enough to come on this show, is very close to the Biden camp, been on the calls with the Biden camp. Um, uh, the Associated Press, I should say, has just declared uh, Biden a winner in Wisconsin. He seems to be very confident in Michigan. I know some sources are saying he may won that. What do the Biden camp now think, Bruce Heyman, their path to victory is? And we Wisconsin. don't have Bruce Heyman's video. Oh, here we go. Just, Bruce, start again. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. No, we got you, Bruce. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, we are exactly where you left off. Uh, Wisconsin. Michigan, which CNN and others just declared for Biden. And then we go to Arizona, which I think is imminent. And then we go to Nevada. He has enough votes. He does not need Pennsylvania. But Pennsylvania does look good. And I think, as Abby described in just this prior segment, these ballots are still coming in because they were put in the mailbox on Election Day. And that is still valid for the next few days. And so there may be additional votes still coming in, which I believe there will be, especially since the Postal Service is uh, under the court order to try to get those ballots back. So Joe's in really good shape. Well, OK. Mind you, the Trump camp and, and Rudy Giuliani is out there saying, we have never seen these. Our scrutineers have not had an opportunity to overlook these. He said, I don't know if Joe Biden himself sent in dozens of his own vote. We haven't seen this. There's lots of allegation in, in Pennsylvania, in Wisconsin. They want recounts in Michigan. That There's funny business. There's fraud. What is the Biden camp's response? The only funny business is Donald Trump and these protestations. Look, the, the guy, this is just what we've seen for the last three and three quarter years. You know, on everything he's done, he has this twisted mindset. And he has telegraphed this even before the election started that either he will win or it is a manipulated election. And he talked but, but about hold on, this. But, but, can, his, can we, yeah. But hold, hold on, and I get that, and I, and I get there's a lot of politicking, but I just want to be specific. Let's just go through his allegations. I'll read his tweet. Sure. Um, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, they will not allow legal observers. True or false? I don't know the answer to that question, whether that's legal in Pennsylvania or not to let outside observers in. So I can't comment on that, and I'm not a lawyer. Bottom line is, all the votes are going to get counted, and when they're all counted, it's likely in Pennsylvania that Joe will win, but Joe does not need Pennsylvania. Okay, what happens if Joe Biden wins um, this path to victory? He wins Arizona, he wins Nevada, he wins Wisconsin, and he wins Michigan as the votes are counted. I don't want these called recounts, these are just counts. But Donald Trump does not accept the result. Then what happens in the United States of America? Joe Biden says he's won, Donald Trump says he's won. What's next? I think that the folks in the Republican Party will recognize the importance of the valid vote. You saw Marco Rubio's comments today. You saw Chris Christie's comments today. Let the votes happen. Count the votes. The winner will be the winner. And it's, ag it's against their interest to invalidate the vote because they all have elections and many congressional seats, they don't want those reopened up and looked at. So look, it's a slippery slope. I think that we'll count the votes. At the end of the day, the Biden team believes they have the votes to get to 270 and potentially beyond. We didn't even talk about Georgia, but that's still in the mix in a big way. And so look, that's the path we're on. But Joe Biden mm. did not declare victory like Donald Trump did. And so we'll see over the next couple of days when these states are called. When, what, what's the timeline, Ambassador Heyman? You say the next couple of days. When could we know? What's the fastest and, and what's the longest? I think we could know tomorrow. Uh, it's possible. Um, both in Arizona. Now, now, remember, we have Michigan called. We have Wisconsin called. We could get Arizona called early tomorrow or sometime tomorrow. And... Now Nevada says, while well, they were going to say something on, you know, later Thursday, but maybe we'll just, it'll be there. Maybe we'll see it earlier. I think tomorrow is, a, is potentially the day, but it could go to Friday. 
could go to Friday. Uh, just finally, uh, as a Democrat, you guys were talking about big numbers, 350, 300, 400 votes. Do the Democrats have to look in a cracked mirror and see a reflection and say, hey, from Hillary Clinton to Joe Biden, uh, this, whatever we're doing, our, our argument about Donald Trump is not working. Whatever you think about Donald Trump, he's increased his vote. He hasn't decreased his vote. And the Democrat menu is not bringing in the kind of customers. I know there's a lot more voters, but it has not changed the electoral map the way you guys thought. Why not? I, I think we're missing something. I think you're absolutely right. And I think the opportunity set starts with the president. And Joe Biden's language today talking about no red states or blue states, just the United States, and he is going to be president of all the people in the United States, you know. So I think it has to start at the White House. But Democrats have a lot of introspection to do right now and figure out what it is they're missing and why is it so many Americans find what Donald Trump was proposing appealing. And we need to, we need to address that. I think you're right. Hmm. Uh, Bruce Heyman, again, uh, th there's a path to victory still for Donald Trump. There's certainly a path for Joe Biden. It's absolutely not over, uh, but always a pleasure to have you. You spent a lot of time with us, and I appreciate it very much. Thanks, Bruce Heyman. It's a pleasure.